Okay, here I am at the top of, um, I don't remember the mountain's name, but I got the top of it. It was a long hike, somewhat lengthened by the fact that I stopped every few feet to catch my breath because it was a very steep hike, but uh, not sure I was just hiking for. I think it took me like an hour to get up to the top. I'll have to check my uh, cell phone to get the time and not wearing a watch. Um, but this this is a view. You can kind of I don't know if that's focusing or not. You can kind of see the little valley over there of Inai. Got some fall colors. It's fall, so. The leaves are changing around here. You can see that over there. I just came through from over here and uh, coming along and see a sign. I've been on this trail before, but I don't really remember this part. Uh, looks like this sign is right back down the mountain. And uh, this sign over here is for the second mountain peak, so you can you can stop halfway, or you can continue on to the second mountain peak. I won't lie, I'm very tempted to just take the road down right now, but I think somehow I'm going to end up on that second mountain peak. Even though I am pretty tired, uh, it's pretty tempting. <sighs> well, here we go up. Here I am on the top of the second peak, which actually wasn't. Once you're on the first peak, it's just a little bit of a jot up to the second peak, so it wasn't too big of a deal, but. I tell you, I am really feeling out of shape. Uh, but oh well, huh? So, more views of kind of the surrounding mountains in Nye Valley. Not sure if this is showing up on the camera or not, but it has to be on those mountain ranges. You can see the ocean uh, over that way. I'm not sure this is showing up on the camera or not, but the, you can, uh, you have to take my word for it that in person, this is quite a nice view. It's a little cloudy today, but but the fog is lifted, so it's it's pretty clear. Like uh, you can see all the way over there towards kind of Usa, and even I think where it branches off, there's a Kunisaki Peninsula. You can see all the way to the ocean here which is a couple towns over. I mean, we're in Innai, which doesn't even border the ocean. So, see all the way to the next town of Usa and all the way across Usa to the ocean. And then, I believe that over there is, is Nakatsu. Um, you know, the focus on this camera is not great. You, you'll, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. You, you, can, uh, you can see quite a lot, I believe. If my geography is correct, I can see Nakatsu and even beyond. It's quite a view. Hell of a climb. But uh, nice view, nice fall colors. I'm on the way down now. And the um, way this trail works, at least as far as I remember, it's not straight down, you go down, you go up, you go down, you go up. A bit up and down even on the descent, but... Headed, headed in the downwards direction. As you can see, this is quite steep here, the descent. Uh, it's pretty muddy here. I, I've got every reason to believe I'm going to fall on my butt more than a few times on the way down. I, I've already, already thus far, I, I've taken a few spills. So, um, well, Good, good thing I'm wearing my grubby clothes, but it's, it's um, sometimes going down is 
even worse than going up and away. Still going along the mountain. Now this is uh, past the summit, which is up there, but uh, it's still, um, still not entirely downhill. There's a bit of up and down. We just came up here onto this little ridge, which has a nice view from it. You can see mountains over there. And you go to the other side and you can see mountains over here. And zoom in, you can see some of the rice fields there. And trail goes down this way over here and then through there. So keep on hiking. You know, as tiring as this trail is, and it really was a grueling hike up to the top, uh, one of the reasons I like it so much is you get to see a lot of different terrain. For instance, I just came through uh, kind of a forest area there and then come out on a ridge here. A um, little, little bit of a steep drop off there. I don't know if you can appreciate that on the camera, but uh, fortunately I haven't fallen off yet. But uh, you know, then you come out to this area over here where you, you really get a nice view of all, all the mountains around here. Um, Which, which is quite nice. You know, there, there are tons of mountains in Japan. You can probably see here. But um, there's very few trails through them. So when you get to a nice trail like this, it's, um, you know, it's a bit of a treat, really. Uh, okay. Just came down from there. And now we get to another decision. It looks like this way goes down the mountain. That way it goes back up. I don't need to go back up. And uh, as far as I can make out, this is just three or four minute little side trail excursion, which I think, I think I'll check out as long as it doesn't involve any steep climbing. I, I, I don't, uh, don't mind the flat stuff at all. So, I guess we'll put our descent on hold for three to four minutes where we kind of check this out. And here we are. Little rundown temple thing with a Buddhist statue. Um, not very exciting, but to be fair, that was, that was less than three minutes. I think I did that in about two minutes. Uh, according to the sign here, that uh, three minute walk looks like it brought us right to the Honyabake border. Or, or no, maybe it just means Honyabake is that way. Usa City is that way, but I think they, that Usa City, it looks like it's kind of taped on there, so I, that, they probably mean Innai. They just had to we do that after the town mergers. But, um, I, I think I'm just going to stick with the original trail. Yeah, head back there and just continue down where I was going. 